What's going on guys? Welcome to Facebook Ads Friday week 37. If this is your first week tuning in, the way this works, every single week on a Friday, I'll show you two proven, tried and tested profitable products that you guys can go out there and get started with right away. So that being said, let's jump straight into product number one. So product number one is this meat thermometer. The way it works is that you stick it in your chicken, you stick it in your beef, you put it in the oven, and once it reaches the perfect and optimal inside temperature, you get a notification to your phone. So how do I know that it's proven? How do I know it's working? How do I know it's profitable? Um, first things first, um, let's take a look at the engagement. So let's take a look at the performance of this and when it started. So it's been going since May 9th of 2023. It's June 28th of 2023. So so six weeks in that time, 700 likes, 466 comments and 1.1 million views. So it's not a crazy amount of engagements. It's not off the charts. However, it's still pretty decent. I would say in six weeks, they're certainly getting some level of success from it. So I think it's pretty safe to say they must be seeing a return. Therefore, it must be profitable. So that's one thing. However, when we're considering products to test, products to move forwards with, products to invest in, a good way I like to look at things is pretending that we're trying to put together a case file. So we're going to court or we're going to see some investors. They want hardcore, non-disputable evidence that we have a winning product before they invest in our business. So we can see the level of engagements, the level of viewership, so on and so forth. And the other thing we want to take a look at, non-disputable evidence, is the comment section. So we'll start off with the most relevant because this is typically the ones that get the most engagement and therefore it's usually the people who have bought the product. Steph from 16 weeks ago, ignore the time frames. I will show you the newest comments in a section so you can see this is working right now. I will never show you outdated products. So Holly says, this is what my dad got me. That would indicate Holly's dad has bought this for her. Alan says, go for the long range one. I got the standard one and wished I'd got the other one. So that would indicate that Alan has bought one of these. Russ, absolutely brilliant bit of kit. Christian, absolutely superb bit of kit. Claire, we live ours. I'm assuming that should say we love ours cooked meat perfect. We love ours cooked meat perfect every time. So Claire is missing an O and probably a comma in that sentence, but I think it's pretty safe to say she's bought this product. Ellis, I love my meter plus. That person has bought this product. Richard, I've got one. I have to admit, it's a game changer. Another person, Peter, I got the plus one. Tracy, I have one of these. This person, I've had one for years. Cole, mine has stopped working. Meter straight onto the case with customer support. Yvette, love it. Julie, used it for the first time today. I think it's pretty safe to say lots and lots of people are buying this product and they're also happy with the product as well. That is super important. It doesn't matter if you can sell a hundred thousand units of something. If you have to return 99,999 of them because it's just a cheap piece of crap, um, you're not going to have a business that's going to last for very long. Let's have a look at the newest comments and see if we've got any from recent. So one day ago, three days, three days, three days, four days, one week, one week, one week, one week. Again, you can see recent comments, got mine today, one week ago. So you can see that this is a product that is definitely selling, that people are happy with and is selling today as well. So if you're watching this video and you're looking for a product to go out and test next, then I highly recommend this one. That being said, then we're like five or six minutes into this video and I've realized I haven't even shown you the creative um, or the actual product. So let's have a look at exactly what it is. So the first few seconds, probably the most important seconds of any ad creative out there. Um, it's been proven time and time again, people's attention span is like two seconds. If you don't get their attention in those first two seconds, then you probably won't have it for much longer. In the first two seconds, seconds they show oh well, let's take a look it's this it's like carving the perfectly cooked piece of chicken so they do a really good job of demonstrating exactly what the product is how it works there's no one talking there's no like UGC however it is original content it is a branded piece of a branded piece it is a branded product this is not just a pop-up drop shipping store these guys have invested a lot of time and probably money into this business so if we jump on to their Shopify store this is the link I believe that the Facebook ad takes you to they have three different ones so it's not a cheap product it's 99 pounds for the original one 120 pounds for the five times longer range um, and then they have a meter block Wi-Fi range 
this one you can control from anywhere in the world because it connects to the internet, which is, I don't know why you would need to measure the temperature of your beef if that beef was in a different country, but nonetheless, maybe for whatever reason, you might um, have a requirement for that. Perhaps you have a really big garden or whatever it may be. Um, they offer it for a reason, so people must be buying it. This is their product listing then, the product description. Um, I don't spend too much time on this because you guys can go obviously to the website. It's store-uk.meter.com. Check it out yourselves. Take a look at the things that you guys kind of want to look at. What I typically do is actually is just point out like my favorite features um, of the website. So first things first, obviously it's all original content. These guys are not a pop-up drop shipping store. They are not importing images across from AliExpress. I think that's pretty safe to say. Money back guarantee next working day from the UK. So they're obviously keeping stock of these things, two year warranty. They've obviously been featured in some big name brands, which helps them kind of like piggyback off your reputation that these guys have. Um, that kind of reputation and trustworthiness then transfers across. Lots and lots of original content featuring the product, the branded product, the private label product, showing how the product works. Imagery and illustrations to illustrate all the kind of questions behind a product. So many people forget this is that when somebody is considering buying a product, it doesn't matter what that product is. There's going to be a list of questions or a list of things that people want to know about something before they feel comfortable enough to buy it. And if you can make a list of all those questions, regardless of what the product is, and you can address them and answer them and sufficiently or sufficiently answer them, then you're much more likely to win the purchase and convert that person. So one of them is obviously going to be expected range. So rather than write out two or three really boring paragraphs um, that people are going to get bored of reading, they've put together this really nice illustration here to show exactly what the expected range is. Moving down, just some demonstration of how the app works. Um, the app's available on the App Store, so I've actually gone to the lengths of getting it published on the App Store, which is pretty cool. Dual sensors, durable materials, just some kind of like necessary explanation of what it's made out of, where you can pull it, battery power, that sort of thing, and then down into the reviews. So obviously we're not gonna be able to copy these guys or replicate something similar overnight. Uh, in fact, I should have made that clear in the introduction. I do not ever recommend, I do not ever recommend anybody copy another business. What you should do is use these guys as inspiration. And if you see yourselves selling a similar product, which I'm gonna show you how to source in a second, then you should do that. But you should not copy them, it's illegal. You should put your own spin on it, put your own brand in, put your own touch, put your own theme and style on it. So they're selling these products for 99 pounds. If we jump onto AliExpress Meet Thermometer app, I think it's really important that you get something very similar. So there's a few different variations we can see. This one for £27, this one for £31. A lot of kind of irrelevant products that aren't really um, relevant. However, I did find one that does pretty much the exact same thing. So the product looks very similar, comes in a nice wooden um, storage box as well. Um, and what these guys actually do is they actually have some um, quite nice content as well, which shows how the app works shows how you set it up, shows that it has timers, that sort of thing. Um, plenty of content there actually that you could indeed use for your ad creative just to validate that the idea works and that you can sell it profitably, that it's again working for you. And once you do, then you can slowly start to reinvest into your business and build a website that looks similar to these guys, get the products branded of course, and go from there. So that was product number one then guys. Before you move on, I just wanna take 20 seconds, probably not even that, just to make you aware of a free training that I've put together. Um, if you want some help getting your business started, so if you wanna get started with that meat thermometer, in this free training, I will show you all of the steps you need to take um, in order to launch that business and get your first sales, your first customers in less than 21 days. It's a bold claim, I know. However, of the thousands of people who have been through this training, I've seen it time and time again. People time and time again do this. Um, it's 100% free. I won't ask for a single penny, but I will ask for your email address. And that is so I can send you a copy of this. This is my personal hand-picked selection of 194 profitable product ideas for 2023. So if any of that sounds of interest to you, once you finish watching this video, make sure you go and check out. It will be the top link in the video description down below. Cheers. Okay, so moving on to product number two. I wanna start this one off actually by watching the ad creative. Again, in the first two seconds, you basically see exactly what it is. It is an arch window bird feeder. It's a bird feeder that attaches to the window. 
And what's really cool here is they've got some nice content of a bird actually using it so you know it works. Again, they're addressing those questions that I was talking about that people have about products before they buy it. So is it waterproof? Will it fall off the window? It will never fall off the window. And just some nice content demonstrating who it's for, how it works, how to use it, where to put it, that sort of thing. And again, just keeps kind of going through it. All is yours today with a call to action at the end. Most people don't know this, but the bird feeder niche is like a massive, massive niche on Facebook. Um, I think it's no secret now. I've mentioned it in loads and loads of my videos that the biggest buyers, the biggest market or easiest market, I should probably say to tap into on Facebook is females over the age of 50. These tend to be the people who spend the most time in their gardens, on their gardens, and buying bird feeders or garden furniture, tools, gadgets, whatever it may be. And especially this time of year as well, with it being summertime, it's a time when people start investing in their gardens. So definitely a great product. This is also backed up by the engagements. So January 4th of 2023, so obviously it's been going now for about six months, four and a half thousand engagements, 2.3 thousand comments, and eight and a half thousand views apparently, which is obviously not right. Maybe that's a glitch or something. I'm just gonna refresh that actually. That cannot be correct. 8.4 thousand views apparently with 2.3 thousand comments. That just seems bizarre to me. Anyway, that being said, the proof still is in the comments. So let's take a look at what people are saying. Let's mix it up this time. Let's go for newest. So three hours, four hours, four hours, four hours, 19 hours, 15 weeks. But that's because it's got a reply. If I just open up these from three days ago, 19 hours, one day, seven weeks again now because it will have a reply 22 hours 22 hours 20 hours one day one day three days so on and so forth so you can see a significant amount of comments all within the last 24 hours let's go back to the most relevant then and see if we can find people who have bought this product and are happy with this product so adrian here we have my new feeders are fantastic so that obviously indicate that he's bought actually more than one of these things Amanda here put ordered and he says birds haven't discovered mine yet so that would indicate that he's actually bought one too. Marion have recently bought not had any birds near yet so there's another person who's bought this product. Jackie put I have one and the birds don't go near it so there's quite a few people having issues with birds going near. I don't know enough about birds to know whether that's just luck fluke or whether it takes time or not. Jill says, ours has been up for four weeks now with about two visitors. They stand on top, don't seem to know how to access the feed. So maybe it's an issue with the actual design of it, perhaps. Um, I'm not sure, but that would indicate another person has bought it. If we jump onto their website, then see what they're selling this product for. So it's a fairly cheap product at only £25. If we go through the website, we can see it's a pretty typical and basic design and layout. No kind of images or GIF of the product. If it was me, I would definitely be kind of chopping up that ad creative and creating some gifts for that to put on the product page just to capture people's attention and keep them on your website however what they do have is this which is 2600 reviews on trust pilot which is something that you do not see very often and that will instantly break down any hesitations or worries about whether it's legitimate or not from any potential customers so 25 pounds for the bird feeder if we jump on to aliexpress now to be upfront and honest, I weren't actually able to find the exact copy, the exact products, but it's not important because there's lots and lots of different ones which do basically the same job, which attach to a window. So as long as you're willing to film some content or pay somebody to film some content for you, then I believe you'll be able to get the same kind of results. And you can look depending on what you're going for. So this one's £6.92, this one £8, this one's £17, £2.63 if you get a smaller, cheaper one. And we know that the sweet spot is in and around sort of £25 because that's what they're selling this for. So as long as we find a product that we can fit to match that level of profitability, then we know that we're going to be going down the right path. And so with that being said, guys, I think that brings week 37 to a wrap. I've shown you the products, I've shown you the suppliers, I've shown you the sellers are showing you the Shopify store 
um, selling these products. I've shown you pretty much everything you need to go out there and create something similar to these guys and fingers crossed replicate some of the success. And whilst the channel is still new, we don't get many comments. So make sure you make the most of it because I do read every comment. It is me that replies. So if you have any questions or any sticking points with your own business, make the most of the comment section and ask me. I'm more than happy to help. I read every single comment so I will get back to you. Thanks for watching guys. Have an awesome, awesome weekend. I'll see you in the next video on Monday. Cheers.